Great celebration there and two softballs. Titles on the line tonight. One in West Haven, one in Stratford. Tomorrow, NFA will take on Southington for the double L crown. Also tomorrow, Seymour will go head-to-head -head with Waterford for the Class M championship. Tonight it was the Class S championship up for grabs between Summers making their first trip to the big game, facing Coggenchog, who has been there before on many occasions. And after Summers stranded two in the top half of the first, Coggenchog got their leadoff runner on in the bottom half, but senior captain Alyssa Milliken makes the catch and turns the double play, much to the delight of the Summers fans in attendance. No score as we head to the fifth, but Milliken changes that with a poke to right field. Stephanie Butler is going to come around third and come in to score one nothing. A little problem picking up the bat right there. But right back comes Coggenchog. Sky Ryer sneaks one past Milliken. That scores two and puts the Blue Devils up two to one. And we head to the top of the seventh. With two outs, Milliken with runners on second and third. Hot smash of the pitcher. Can't be handled. She recovers. Throws the first. Milliken safe. One run scores. Taylor Alfa scores the second. Summers wins their first ever state title with the 3-2 win. And afterward, coach Melanie Zamorski said the Spartans had a senior moment. The Thompson twins, uh, Kylie and Heather, they have been playing for me for four years. They're seniors, um, and they are the most happy, bubbly kids I have ever met in my entire life. And I said, listen, if anyone has the positive attitudes to do it and to get on, it's going to be the two of you, and you're going to do it right here. We have six seniors. We came in as a senior nucleus. That's what I call it. We're all about the six seniors, and we have a strong freshman class, and they're going to be just as good as us one day, and we just can't wait to see what they do also.